So what I'd like to see if we can do is just maybe pick on one or two ideas to look at in detail. Luke, tell us about your conjectures then. Um, Three on the outside. Yeah, and on. Okay, so as Luke's going, please ask him any questions you want. Well, I'm looking at... Okay, yeah. Tell us what you're trying to do, Luke, again. I'm you're trying to, to, like, miss all these dots out, like, put... Do you have to go across two? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, so tell us your conjecture. So, take that off if you need. So tell us what O, I, and tell us how you worked out the area of that one. And what, what have you, what, yeah, tell us a tell well, bit about your conjecture. I worked out, first of all, I worked out 12 dots. That came to 12 dots. Yeah. And then I worked out the other one. Why not do it for us then? Do it for us. Draw out the one with 12 dots. Make them what? I think about Sausage? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't matter, even if it's one less, we can still... Never that's okay, that's okay. Let's, let's look at that one. Well, I've done that, and then I've drawn a box around it. Yeah. Oh, it's Outside of Luke's shape, there. Three, because that's what he was looking at. He was just looking through on the outside. How many inside? Seven. Eight. Eight. Okay, and I think it might be useful to actually try and work out this area as it really is. I'll draw the shape again because Luke wanted the box and we could maybe look at it with the box. So then, do you want to come up and show how would you work out that area? Great. So I think that'd be really useful to think about because that might help lots of you in what you're doing. <coughs> I'd actually just draw down in the line and then the box. Okay, two people said they've got other ways. So, so oh, I've got other ways as well. Then let me draw up. I'll draw up some more copies of the shape. And Max, do you say you had a way as well? Yeah. There's different or? It's kind of it's similar to Luke. Okay, maybe you can use that diagram then. Because the outside is three, I would have that so Um, then, 
There's eight inside, so there's three outside, ten, eleven. And then, so that one there is what you've been drawing is ten, so that'd be eleven to me. That's using my what I think. So that's Ruby's prediction using this rule that the area Ruby reckons is half of the outside plus the inside take away one. You see, so we've still got a question of what is the area of this one. Um, Lucy, were you going to come and help us with that? Green. Do you, do you want to come up and, and show us that, Izzy? Yeah, so, Izzy, maybe you could think about Ruby's question as you're showing this. Nope. Um, if you actually look at each box, you see that line went all the way up to there. This triangle here would actually go all the way to the top. And then you have that line going all the way to the top. And what Lucy's done is just put the one front one. So, then if you actually do like a rectangle, like round that, and then you like count in the amount of squares. And then you have 9, it would then be 4.5. And then this one here goes up to this box, which is 8. And then half that would be 4. And then half the top bar would be 1. And if you add them together, would be there. So, what's going on with this halving? Ruby's asked about the halving. Can, can anybody explain how has Izzy worked out in us that this triangle here comes to 4.5? Anybody, can anybody recreate her reasoning there? Ruby's asked a question, each of these aren't halves. How does she know that that triangle comes to 4.5? She knows. Anybody else know? Oh, because you've got a, like, that there goes all the way through the nine, like, squares, all the way diagonally, so it's half. So if I just drew it on its side, maybe, we've got a square, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We've got a triangle going like that. Yeah. And you're saying, Max, that that's half of that. the whole rectangle? Yeah. So the whole rectangle's 9. And then half of it is 4.5. So, so this must be 4.5 here and 4.5 here. Yeah. Okay, lovely. That could help people. Izzy hasn't yet found the area. Keep going, then, Izzy, but how do you get the other triangle? If you then add them all up, you get 9.5. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then if you count the, uh, the whole rectangle, the whole rectangle, so we're saying the area then is going to be 18 for the whole square, take away 9.5, which is 8.5, so that's it. So Luke, you might need to look at that perhaps. I think Ruby's is actually white because you, I'm also working on 10 dot shapes as well as 24 dot shapes. Great. Um, and I've just, I've just whipped down the way that Ruby does it and then I've actually worked out one of my 24 dot shapes to see if I get the same area as what I've already got and I Great. am. Great. And you could maybe try these three right. ones that Luke's doing. You could do that with any number inside. Maybe you could try a 24 dot shape with 21 dots inside. Oh. And so the question about why that Lucy was working on is, is a really important one. So Ruby's got this question, and Hannah's wanting to know, is that a theorem? To make it a theorem, you've really got to say why and convince us it will work for all shapes.